Hi, I'd like to show you some improvements to the stupid nonsense spoken sentences program. Please give me several adverbs. Quickly. Slowly. Quickly. Slowly. Happily. Done. Here comes some stupid nonsense. The entertaining monkey bars monkeys around happily. The funny school custodian monkey. Well, you can see I made a few mistakes. Um, you notice that I can have phrases now, and also that the um, color, the amount of green, shows the um, confidence level of the speech recognition. Uh, so what mistakes did I make? I said quickly and slowly too fast, so they turned into a phrase. Um, okay, let me stop this and let's look at the code, see how I did that. I'll show you what the changes are. Uh, well, the first thing I did was turn on interim results, and this lets the results come in much faster. And then I renamed this um, event variable from E to event. And then I made, uh, I just pulled out the code that returns early if uh, we don't have anything useful. And I separated this into pieces. So we get the latest result. And then um, when you turn on interim results, they may or may not be final. And so we're only interested in what the speech recognition system thinks are the, are the final results. So that's what this if is for. And then, um, again, I've broken out some things. So the, the result consists of um, one or more alternatives. And so we take the first alternative. And I've never found more than one alternative, but um, the documentation seems to suggest that there could be. Then we ignore anything with the confidence level less than or equal to 0 0.7. And then we get a word out, um, or it could be a phrase, like, um, what did I have, monkey bars or something. And um, then we, um, then this part is as before. And then when we call the collect word function, we also pass in the confidence. Um, so the rest of the changes are in collect word. You, here's where we pass in confidence. And now you see, rather than simply appending the word in a space to the page, we make a new span with the style and the color is built from this. So in um, CSS, you can say RGB and then express the amounts of red, green, and blue in percentages. That's what this is. So we take the confidence, which goes from zero to one, and then we multiply that by 100 to get a percentage. And um, then we build our RGB string. Oh, you know, I just noticed that I'm missing a right parenthesis here. But it works anyway. Browsers sure are forgiving. And then N here, which I should rename, this is the formatted confidence. So the confidence is a, is a real number, and it has a lot of decimal places. And I want to format it so that it just has a few. And so that's what this does. Okay, so those are the changes. Have fun. So long.